yes, children, we were discussing. Now we are on question number seven. Select the qualities from paragraph three that the author wants us to imbibe. So being acceptive, passionate, emotional, resilient, and perceptive. So out of this, first of all, you make out like which one quality uh, we should not have. We should not be very emotional. Okay. It's not that when so, uh, a small uh, setback comes and we sit down and we start crying that we can't do it. Okay. So, or when we are doing very well, then we say like, we are the best. We can do everything in life. So keeping a poise is very important. So here the writer is, uh, uh, if we see option two, four and five, it is passionate, four is uh, resilient and five is perceptive. That is okay. So if the writer says one, three and four, one is acceptive, three is emotional. So leave it, leave B. C is one, four and five, one acceptive, four resilient and five is perceptive. So one, four, five, and then third, fourth and fifth. Emotional is, so B and D are totally wrong then we have to choose from A and C. Then you see like, which is the most important quality? Uh, C is uh, acceptive and fourth is resilient and five is res uh, perceptive. And which one other option is there in sec? Yeah, passionate. Passionate is like, again, somewhat like being very over emotional. Okay, you should have the passion to do something, but being passionate is being over emotional. Okay, passionate people, you know, they become very angry sometimes. So passionate in the end becomes a negative quality, but as having passion for something is okay. But having becoming passionate for somebody is negative. Okay, some people say like, I can't live without her or him. That is being passionate and that is a negative quality. So which option is okay? C. C. Which of the following is shown by the changing of seasons? So the beauty of nature, nature's creativity, all seasons are equal, nothing lasts forever. Yes, according to the passage, we have to pick up also. That's also very important. Otherwise, you may say like, ma'am, changing of season also shows beauty of nature. That is also right. Okay, that's not wrong. And uh, nature's creativity is also shown through change of season. First, there is so much of snow, then, uh, so, then the earth becomes all colorful, right? Then it starts raining. It's nature's creativity. But what we have to choose, why that option? Because that is as per the passage. In the passage, the writer wanted to say that nature, nothing lasts forever. Got it? Can you tell me that can, could the writer have given some other option instead of uh, these four? Any other best option? That best option is not there. But there is one more thing which the writer actually wants to say there. Refer to paragraph number. Look at your own papers. Huh? Okay, but see the paragraph number five. It is from here where the writer has picked up this idea. The snow melts in the warmth of spring to give birth to fresh green leaves. In autumn, these leaves age into shades of gold only to be buried in the cold grave of winter. Change is inevitable. The sooner we embrace this, the better it is for us. We must also understand that even in pain, there is growth. If you cut a hole in the tree, it will grow around it. So even the hole grows up in the tree. No matter what may come in its way, a river will continue to flow. Similarly, no matter what grief may break your heart, nature teaches us that life goes on despite dash. But how what? What's he like one word? Choose one word where the which is writer focusing upon. Options. Yes. Choose one word. 
in this whole passage, the writer is basically talking about one word, which is which is responsible for making improvement in life. Hmm? Growth comes because of that dash. Improvement, growth, development happens because of dash. Hmm? Change, yes. So the underlying word of this whole passage is change because the writer says, unless and until you change yourself, growth cannot be there. We people changed during this pandemic you know, and changed made us better. Now you see, even if you are at home, you can study. You know, earlier you used to wonder like if I am absent, I'll be missing my lectures. Now this, is, though the pandemic is still troublesome, no doubt, no doubt. Okay, we don't want it. We want it to end at the earliest. But, but change had to be brought in. So because of this change, not only for education, we people have got so many options. And along with those many options, so many other positive things have happened. Less of traffic jams. Otherwise, in the morning, around the school, there used to be traffic jams. All buses would be flying. All autos would be flying. Everybody from home, so either on bikes or on activas or on cycles coming and rushing here and there. Now, in the morning, there is a little bit of less of traffic jam, less of fuel consumption, less of pollution, and a less of human uh, activity in the very morning for parents also. Your parents also wake up a bit relaxed in the morning when you are not coming to school. Right? Hmm? This is, that is there. When there is one thing, each side has two, si two sides. Even our hand has got two sides. One is uh, this kind and the other is this kind. So when the life has got one thing, of course, there would be something else also. If a hundred positive things are there, a few negative things will be there. But that was also because of our nature only. Human being wanted to be with mobile always. God said, okay, be with mobile. G nature gives us what we give it. So we were, we had broken all relations. We would wish everybody happy birthday on phone. We would ask others whereabouts on phone. And God said, okay, if your phone is so important, then use it. Isn't it? So change came. Maybe it was forced upon us. But even then, there are some good sides of it. This is what the writer is saying. Even if that there is a hole in a tree, when the tree is small, if there is a hole on its trunk, that hole starts growing with the tree. See? If in the winter season, the earth seems to be dead with white snow on it, after two months, that very earth becomes all full of colors. Isn't it? And that very colorful earth after two or three months becomes full of water. Then we all start cribbing about the floods here and floods there. The changes, then the earth is full of leaves. Autumn season comes. So this is beauty of nature. But this beauty comes with change. Unless and until we change, we won't be able to grow. So if we say, like, what could have been the fifth option there? Yes. Huh? Nothing lasts forever. Is, it, is They have given us. But I am saying, can there be one more option? Change is necessary. Or change is a law of nature. If they had just said this over here, then what would you have taken? change. That is the most underlying idea of that paragraph. Getting? So, answers depend upon how you perceive the things. Now, your education system is not that whatever you have read as it is, you will be answering the questions that way. If, the, if it is written 2 plus 2 equals to 4, then it is to be not always 4. Maybe the writer in the paragraph has proved that 2 plus 2 equals to 22 also. Then you'll have to understand what the writer wants to say. That ingenuity you'll have to inculcate on your own. 
for when gone are the days when just uh, uh, reading and cramming a few things would be just sufficient now only those student will be coming to front the ones who are able to those who are able to think analyze and interpret the things change is there okay now you have to change your thinking system now merely understanding that uh, um, what's the formula of water h2o so simply understanding h2o equals to water that's it that will not work you'll have to understand what h actually is okay the chemical equation under unless and until you understand you won't be able to understand anything okay you'll have to become analytical you'll have to become you know uh, inferential you have you should know how to infer the things in front of you i read out one paragraph of change now okay after having read you must be able to know on your own like in this whole paragraph what the writer was basically hinting at okay even the examiner he could not find that one word it's not that he could not maybe he wanted us to right now see whether we are able to make out whether this is the best or there could be better better than that also okay so your your mindset has to change it's not that if you got stuck at one question then you start crying ki mujhe to samajh hi nahi aaya pura chapter aisa nahi hai with each new question your new thought will be your your thought process will be required to be used it's not that whatever we have done finish okay one thought for example in writing skills you have already been doing this kind of thing when is when you are asked to write a paragraph on one topic suppose i ask you to write a paragraph on change is a law of nature if you people are 50 students and out 50 out of 50 students will be writing all different things if okay no one's ideas would be same what it because everybody has got a unique mind heart body soul then how can our ideas be same but so far it was expected in education that we all used to write the same things in our educational setup so far but now it is not so okay now you are all expected to think from your own angle but yes logic is to be there fact is to be there okay for example i said right now out of these four there is one more thing we need to add into this option that had a logic it's not that i thought i was creative so i was able to think about change here no it was given over there and this much analytical skills even you people will have to have it what is analytical skill the four options were there i could have told you like yes this is correct finish chalo aage chalte hain but my analytical skill made me realize that that paragraph had something else also and we and if i were an exam a student like you then i would have applied to my mind like yes here there is one more idea that is change and it should have been there what it but if change is not there then this option is best nothing lasts forever snow doesn't remain there forever floods don't remain forever then flood also doesn't remain forever pandemic will also pandemic will also be over but when will it be over come on when will this covid 19 be over what kind of change will be required when will covid 19 be over come on tell me any one raise hand will corona virus die 100% do you think so do, do you think corona virus will die 100% okay how hmm? i told you you should have logic lack of analytical skill we have been facing covid 19 for the last one and half year 
for the first two or three months there was complete lockdown did corona finish then have you been able to analyze after one and half year like how will corona end come on anyone this is analytical skill okay this is analysis this is what we have to infer from the experience of one and half year corona will not end but what will happen there are two things number one human beings will have to learn to save nature human beings will have to learn to save environment less of pollution has to be exuded then human beings will have to work upon their own immunity then human beings will have to be very hygienic and then when human beings will be immune to that virus because their own immune system will have become stronger we have been taken the vaccination but only vaccination will not work unless and until we go for other precautions for example yoga exercising walking in the early morning keeping the environment say uh, neat clean green then finally one day corona will die because our immune system will be stronger than the virus that is what god taught us through this pandemic okay nature taught us like take care of me i will take care of you and now when there is less of pollution when there is less of stupid things the human beings used to do then yes maybe one day we'll be able to beat corona the corona will be there as it is whatsoever virus once comes on this earth it doesn't vanish mind it but we human beings become immune to this but having good immunity means that we'll have to say bye to unhealthy foods we'll have to say bye to unhealthy habits got it so corona itself will not die we'll have to struggle to beat it is that clear so hygiene is very important it's not that if you are sneezing then you sneeze openly but one have to sneeze if sneeze comes you can't stop it and you should not stop it but yes now we'll have to change our lifestyle that's it earlier we would be going to a gathering where about 1000 or 2000 people would be all sitting together so that is not done you'll have to change our lifestyle okay so these are analytical skills we need to understand like when the pandemic came instantly lockdown was imposed because then even the scientists and doctors they did not know what actually it was ansha is here no so they also did not know why because it was also new for them so they studied they did everything they all the people got to know what actually corona is from close quarters and after now one and half year even the second wave came what was the reason of second wave because the moment first wave was over then people thought corona is over no corona will never be over but we'll have to keep carry on with the precautions throughout plus we'll have to keep on fighting with the with the with the come on speak up immunity we we'll have to boost up our immunity healthy lifestyle that is must okay going to a place or going to the congregations where there are 2000 people sitting together without mask without sanitizers then you will be inviting the covid virus right so this virus is deadly that we must all accept it is not very uh, something very easy to tackle it's not a cup of tea for human beings so we have to safe a guard ourselves that is very important and let us not forget the basic precautions social distancing not to go to the congregations fighting for against corona with our own immunity so working for immunity is very important and taking care of nature go for plants 
have as many plants around you as you can okay right so yes screen time can be can be less so only for study purpose use phone otherwise don't use phone not at all delete all social networking things from your phones okay no whatsapp no unnecessary whatsapp right or automatically your screen time will be less earlier what used to happen without having the time to study the children would have the time for phones but now do use that much of time for your study that it. and yes whenever you can have whenever it is possible have the printouts in your hand whenever something goes in your phone whenever you have to see something from phone get its print out so instead of spending earlier you people used to go for an outing you would spend thousands now you get one printer out of that money and whenever some document comes in your phone take out its printer read that is the option solutions are there okay but it is up to us so corona will not die okay it's not about becoming positive or negative it is about become about being practical okay another practical thing is that we have to boost up our immune system we must take care of nature these are the solutions less of pollution if you have to go to the nearby market to get something for yourself then instead of uh, kick starting your activa or your car go go walk go on foot walk ho jayegi and your immune system will be stronger right you can do this your small kids right okay so this lecture was dedicated to the children who think that still if they will cram the things they will be getting full marks in exams cramming is not the solution but what is the solution knowing a lot now increase your horizon it's not that you keep on cramming one question what is required read the whole concept try to go beyond that also okay for one and half year corona had been in our syllabus it was there it was in our life but even then he did not know its one question answer will corona die he said yes it will die so mcq wrong okay corona will not die so something which is in our life we should we should know the fact hanj yes hmm yes okay we'll discuss later so select the qualities from paragraph 3 this we have done and this made us uh, think so much what does the writer advise in para 6 so para 6 indulging in competition with others making priority list what is the list making priority list what is it what's the meaning of making priority list rithika rithika hmm making priority list no okay harshit hmm tushar hmm making priority list okay anyone from here yeah. yes yes must to do things at first sequence wise some children in the very morning make a write a diary they make a list of priorities number one thing to be done number two first they say like first of all i have to reach school valentine that's the first priority list second you know the moment i reach i will be going to renu ma'am for doubts in english the moment i reach school first i'll go to renu third thing i will ask uh, gurleen ma'am dash 
fourth thing i'll complete my maths assignment if your maths assignment is most important then you can keep it at number 1 the moment i reach school i'll do my maths assignment first okay nowadays our priority list can be number 1 taking care of ourselves okay working upon my immunity waking up early in the morning doing yoga exercise then eating healthy, hmm, eating healthy foods and all right and uh, taking care of the plants in and around my house you know going for greenery around you take care of yourself you take care of nature a little bit rest of the things will be taken care of right third priority can be give, uh, less of screen time print out print outs coming to school right so that is the priority list so is a writer talking about this yeah he is talking about there in about this but but let us see which thing he wants to advocate the most so these things he is advising second thing he is advising taking life seriously be serious study whole day don't think about anything else except your marks is it so is a writer saying like this no okay having free time for ourselves which which line makes you say that yes writer says for having a, Uh, hmm. Hmm. Yes, that is correct. So these lines: take a break from your routine. Take a break means relax. Okay, take a break from your routine and do the things which make you happy. It means the writer wants us to. have free time for ourselves he doesn't want us to uh, to take life very seriously okay